guys, welcome back. Um, it's Caleb and welcome to Kings Island. This is my first visit of the 2022 season. And like I said in my last video, when I actually just ran in and wrote Orion, um, I'm gonna come in and do a video where I'm gonna show you what's new for this year. And that's what we're gonna do today. Um, it's Saturday, so it's gonna be very, very crowded today. So I'm not expecting to ride much today, but I'm gonna be showing you around the park to see what's new for this year. And the first thing is this new 50th anniversary banner. If I can get the camera to focus correctly right here, it's this new banner, which it was actually an enthusiast who made it, who does the art and he did a great job like he usually does. So it's great. So, so welcome. Um, so we're gonna see all that's new this year and check out everything for the 50th anniversary of this year and I'll see you guys in the park. Alright so I've made it into the park on International Street as you can see the first thing new this year is this new 50th anniversary sign. It's the Golden Celebration logo. As you can see they're actually doing it as professional photos like the park paid photos so, so, it's, so it's great. So there's our new sign and also there's the newly painted Eiffel Tower was just painted this past off season with the new 50th anniversary uh, ribbon. And of course the new fountains that were debuted in 2019. And if you can also listen in the background, they have jazz playing this year to celebrate the 50th. So anyway, and also new over here, Drop Tower got a new paint job. It got repainted. Like I said in a video, I do feel it was a missed opportunity to remove the checkerboards, but it is what it is. And it's still looking much better than it has in the past. So, I'll see you guys later. Another shot at the newly painted Eiffel Tower. As you can see, look closer. It, it, you can tell it's been painted. Great job by Bynum Painting for doing that well. So, so it's great. It looks really good. Alright, another thing new this year. That, as you can see, the Grand Carousel has been repainted and got in the band organ got fixed. I know I was getting tired of the old um, backup backup music they've been using in the past couple years. So I think band organ sounds amazing. Only complaint is it is a little bit loud, but it is what it is. Anyway, phenomenal job to those who who upgraded it and did all the work. Your work really did pay off. One of the new things this year is they around the park they have these like billboards set up. And they have these like billboards set up um, commemorating these old rides, like the racer right here. There's also a couple more that I will show you in this video, but um, this is the one for the racer. It's right by the racer. So this is definitely something to see. So one of the new things is the racer got repainted to its old red, white, and blue color scheme. This is actually going to be my first ride of the day is the newly painted racer. So let's go ride. Another new thing is Adventure Express got a new paint job this past off season. That was one of the rides they repainted. So it's looking pretty nice. So proof this ride will be around a lot longer. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but I know a lot of people are. So, so it definitely will be around for a bit longer. Blue isn't running, but here's a closer look at the new color scheme. Man, it looks so good. <laughs> Great job, Bynum, Bynum Painting. <laughs> Wonderful job. Looks great. All right, so I just got off racer. Um, surprisingly, that was actually very smooth. So let me say, Gravity Group, you did an awesome job retracking this ride. Now, hopefully the Beast retrack is just as smooth and that will make it so much better, which I will show you guys more about the Beast a little later in the video. But um, if now, um, let's go to Orion. Jay? Jay? Okay, well, obviously, we're experiencing some technical difficulties at this time, everybody. So, we stand back.
so I just rode Orion back row. And I don't get the hate for this ride. Sure, it's not Fury, but it's, this ride is phenomenal. I don't get why people hate this ride so much. Uh, people hate this ride so much. It's not Fury, but just because it does not measure up to Fury does not mean it's a bad ride. <laughs> like, stop comparing it to Fury, people. <laughs> Stop comparing it to Fury. Yes, it's a Giga, and Fury's a Giga as well, but Fury's in a league of its own. Well, this is a good Giga coaster. Well, Fury is a fantastic Giga coaster. So, yeah, quit comparing it to Fury. If there's another Giga that, should be, that is more comparable to this, it's Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. What I've heard is a good Giga coaster too. So, stop hating on Orion, people. I'm looking right at you. I'm looking right at everyone. Please stop hating on Orion. Stop comparing it to Fury. Just appreciate Orion. Make sure that you guys are okay and don't have any questions, comments, or concerns that I can't answer now. If not, we're going to enjoy the awkward elevator ride where everyone stares at me. And they kind of go, uh huh, uh huh. It's okay, I'm a teacher, so I'm used to it. What do you teach? Math and science for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. One of my favorite uh, awkward years, as I like to call it, but I absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, well, that's really right. fun. That's where that one will go. Oh, we're going to Studio Land next. Okay. Okay, we are at the top of the Eiffel Tower. If you do not know already, it's been announced that Timberwolf is going to be used for a concert series. And that's going to take place in, like, July and August. As you know, it's gotten a big upgrade over the past off-season. As you can see, down in this area right here, there's, like, this new patio that all used to be trees over there. That might be a new VIP deck, from what I'm hearing. And if you look down here, um, right, the, right about here, if I can get my camera to focus, that's going to be the new entrance to Timberwolf for those who, um, who want to go to the concerts but don't get park admission. So you're going to enter and it's going to go under in Vertigo and connect to the pathway that goes under Congo Falls. And that's going to be true. So for more information on the new concerts that are coming, go to visit kingsisland.com. They have a full lineup. Some of the bands I know that are coming is Three Doors Down, the Abbott Brothers, Skillet, who Skillet is usually comes to the park for Spirit Song. So if you miss Spirit Song, come to the Skillet concert because that's because it'll be very similar. So that's it for that. Okay, so one of the things new this year is the arcades were um, actually a, an outside company took over the games and all that here, and they re and they did a huge makeover of the arcades this past off season. As you see, they added new carpet and new games and just spruced up the um, arcade a bit. So I'm not going to play games because as an employee at the park, I can't play games. It's a rule. But um, but those who are into arcades, you are going to like this.
Okay, so a little bit of a thing. Um, there was a bit of a gap last time. So I wrote, I had um, Pony Barbecue and then rode um, Diamondback. And then I was, to, you, you'll see some of those clips I had, but while I rode Diamondback, there was a little bit of an issue with the phone, so I had to get that back on. Now I'm in line for uh, Mystic Timbers. And lines are starting to get long today, but it's expected as it is Saturday. So any of you, if you don't like long lines, do not come on Saturdays, Kings Island, or any park. It to be, it's like enthusiast or amusement park fan 101. Okay, is don't come on Saturdays. Okay, yeah. so a bit of a wait for Mystic, but Mystic's always worth the wait. You know that. Everyone knows Mystic Timbers is worth the wait. So, like, this is nothing compared to what I had to wait on the first night. Pro, like, I waited four and a half hours on its first night, so. So, I, I'll, I'll wait on it. Okay, so I just got off Mystic, and back row, one heck of a ride like always. Um, five years later, it's still running smooth as could be. <laughs> it's still running sputter smooth. So, um, so um, I enjoyed Mystic, and um, I'm actually gonna ride the train next, cause there is something on the train that I'd love for you guys to see. I'd love for you guys to see what's on the train this year on one of the new things for, for the park this year. So I'll see you guys on the... Also new this year, there are these new like um, Celebrate 50 Golden Celebration kind of drinks they're doing this year. There's this thing called the Golden Jubilee Berry Spritz with Sprite and then the Golden Jubilee Peach Fizz. I'm gonna, right now I actually am trying the uh, Berry Spritz. Um, it, I've tried it, it's actually pretty good. Um, so. If you're coming to the park and want some new kind of drinks things, want some new drinks, you can get these at like the Coca-Cola Freestyle stations around the park. I'm right now at the one over by Diamondback and uh, the train station, the one that's hardly ever open. So, um, so this is, mm, good. it's actually pretty good, so I recommend trying them this year. Okay, here is Kings. Here's the new Western Town that was recently done over the off season. This is why I wanted to get take you guys on the train because I wanted to take you guys on the train to see this. It, see, it's been all painted, new lanterns, cowboys, all that. It looks amazing. Another thing new this year is there. Um, there are these like photo opportunity things around the park, like this one in Rivertown right here that's like themed to logs. And there's others in the park. There's others in the park. There's like one over by Racer. There's one. There's the one at the front gate. There's one over by Congo Falls. And there's also one over near Sweet Spot on International Street. So there's a lot of different photo ops at the park this year. So definitely something to check out if you like taking photos and having nice photo opportunities.
picture of my cat this one. You'd never believe who I found today. It's the Cincy Bros Coasters. Yeah, 365. Yeah. Never believe who I found today. <laughs> yeah. Great to be here, you know? Yeah, it's great. Great to see you. It's always great to run into these Cameo. guys. Cameo. Yeah. Be sure to like this video. Of course, be sure to like the. Uh, are you guys doing one too? Because I know oh, yeah, you guys did, did one. one. one the other day, check that yeah, out. Yeah, you guys so, should check out their other video. They did one yeah. not too long ago. So. 50th day celebration. Yep, 50th year. Yep. I was working that day. <laughs> so. All right, see you guys. Here's another look at the Rivertown Arcade, which also got the makeover that the Coney Arcade did. So you can see new games, new carpet, new paint. Looks very well done. So if you, once again, if you really like arcades, this is the place to be. So nothing new on the Vortex plot. Nothing new as terms. There is no construction, any signs of construction or anything like that. As I've said in the past, it is going to be a few more years until we see a new ride here, knowing what ha with COVID and all that. But look what is testing over there. Yeah. As you guys know, the Beast is undergoing a major retrack. Um, the retrack is actually done, actually. As you can see over there, if you look very closely, they are starting to run cycles on the Beast. So. So the retrack is done, and it's expected to open later this month. Now, it should be open by Coaster Stock, as Coaster Stock's itinerary this year it features Beastie RT and a Beast Walk Back. So it should be done by then, which I will be at Coaster Stock, by the way. I will be there, so there's another video you can look forward to. But yeah, Beast is almost done with its retrack, and it should be opening soon. We just don't know when. Um, kind of billboard things. Here's the other one down by the antique cars um, where Vortex used to be and it's displaying stuff that was down in this area like like of course Vortex, the original Bat, Flight Commander and like lots of cool stuff on here. It's definitely something interesting to check out when you come to the park. Okay so as you know from maybe the past couple months I wear glasses now and you know, wearing glasses on a roller coaster is kind of hard. So I, I went and bought this athletic strap that you can see on my, uh, right here. I bought this athletic strap that um, is on. So it'll be able to, it'll be work full for eyes that let's say go upside down or really fast and it's hard to keep them in place. So I'm gonna go ride a uh, Banshee.
Okay, so I just rode Banshee. Banshee's awesome. Now let me say, um, it's still my favorite invert. I, I've ridden both Raptor and Afterburn. I think this is better than both in my opinion. Feel free to rip me in the comments. I know a lot of people love Afterburn. A lot of people love Raptor, but in my opinion, this is better than both of those. So I'm actually gonna go ride the bat now. There's the old Son of Beast queue. Nothing's really changed here. Rest in peace, Son of Beast. Okay, so I just rode the bat. Fun little underrated ride as always. It's one of the few of its kind in the world. One of the few aero suspended coasters left in the world. I think it's the largest one le still left in the world because Big Bad Wolf is gone. So, anyways, it was still very fun. I hope it stays around a bit longer. Hope it stays around a while, but you never know. But anyway, um, I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do next. Probably get some footage, maybe get something to eat. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, here's the last info board I'll show you guys. Um, it's more about Coney Mall and around this area. You can see there's like an original picture of Coney Mall. There's another one up there. There's the old Flying Eagles, which is actually at Carowinds now called the Mountain Gliders. And there's the um, original Dodgems that was in that building that Coney Barbecue replaced. There's the old antique cars that Backlot replaced. So a lot more. There's a lot of cool stuff to check out at Kings Island this year. Definitely come on by and check it out this year. Okay, that is going to wrap up our time here at Kings Island today. Um, I'm going to be leaving here in a few to um, head back home. And I uh, look forward to some new videos coming out over the next several times when I, um, um, when this golden celebration comes on and um, everything else happens. Plus coaster stock coming up in a couple weeks. So it's going to be a great season here at Kings Island. Gonna also, big announcement, I have a Universal trip coming up in June, so there will definitely be videos from Universal, like reactions to Velocicoaster and Hagrid's and all that. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, of course, so you don't miss another video. I'm on the quest for 300. We're getting closer, so please, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe so we can get to 300. Also, like, of course, and share, and post a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.